Hey folks, I am here this morning to shoot a contest entry for Mind Over Metal, Metal Ron's channel. Metal Ron Haggerty, great guy. He shows a lot of great metal. I'm sure everybody knows that. Uh, if you haven't been to his uh, channel, I, and I can't imagine that you'd be here and not, not having been there. Um, I'll leave a description or, yeah, I'll leave a description in the link. I'll leave a link in the description and go over and see them. Uh, great stuff. Anyway, he's asked for five albums that are space related. Artist name, song title, song lyrics, album title, just anything space related. So... I have, um, I've, I've pulled mine, and I've got more than five, and I don't know which ones to cut, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Fair enough? How about it, Jake? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, um, the noise in the background's the kitten. Yeah, go straighten her out, Jake. Alright, so... Let's jump into these albums. Uh, Larry Norman, only visiting this planet. Um, I guess the album title is just more referring to the fact that we're only on this planet a short time. We're only here for a season, uh, but it makes for a great double meaning. Uh, definitely get your intrigue going. Larry Norman, only visiting this planet. Uh, he does have a song called uh, UFO. It's not on this this album, but uh, yeah, great, great. Uh, well, great Christian rock artist was one of the first uh, to uh, to do Christian rock. Uh, then Daniel Amos, horrendous disc is kind of that. UFO looking thing up in the corner um, This album does have a song on it called man in the moon um, Daniel Amos at this point was probably transitioning from being more of a uh, southern rock band to a uh, alternative band And so But this is this is a, a Highly regarded album. In fact, it just, I don't know if it's come out yet or not, or if they're just still doing pre orders, but uh, they are working on a box set just for this album that's massive. It's like six, six discs and six LPs. I think if you go to their website, you can get the, the LP whips or the LP box for like a hundred bucks and then the, the uh, CDs for, for 60. Um, and I may, I may pull the trigger on the CDs anyway. I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, this is one of the classic Christian rock albums. And um, that leads me to the, the even more appropriate uh, Daniel Amos, Preachers from Outer Space. I showed that one to lead up because there's a lot of material from Horrendous Disc on this uh, live CD. This was uh, recorded live at the Anaheim Convention Center, Easter weekend, 1978. And uh, there's the inside. You see, you can kind of see the, the, with the cowboy hats and stuff, they were still kind of doing the southern, southern rock thing. Okay, moving on from there, of course we gotta go to, uh, gotta take a peek at, gotta show this, Petra, more power to you, with that uh, great uh, guitar spaceship. It seemed to me there was an appropriate song on here, but I can't remember. Maybe not. Yeah, okay. So, 
more power to you. Petra likes the space theme. I also have it on uh, disc, along with uh, Not of This World. Another, another spaceship. Uh, looks like a guitar. Then uh, their live album, Petra, Capturing Time and Space. Twin guitars, spaceships, and I don't know what the green stuff is. An alien planet, I'm not sure. And then, uh, this still, it looks like it's on Earth, but it's still got the guitar spaceship. That's Petra, Back to the Street. Man, this is an underrated album. I think this was, if I'm not mistaken, it was Schlitz, uh, John Schlitz formerly of Head East. It was his first album as Petra lead singer. Man, there are some hard rocking songs on this album. Uh, Back to the Street was rocked pretty good, but man, uh, Shaking the House, oh man, that's a heavy song. Um, yeah. So, there you go. Petra, Back to the Street. Um, kind of finishing up with the uh, Christian albums in this video. Crumbacher, Escape from the Fallen Planet, kind of a eighty synth, synth, kind of eighty synth pop, maybe synth pop rock, whatever you want to call it. Crumbacher, Escape from the Fallen Planet. My my album's got a few dings on it. I kind of need to get an upgrade copy if I can ever find one. More rocket ship mayhem on the back. Crumbacher. Um, now this is jazz. This and this is kind of it, it's jazz. That's I love this because it's jazz that uh, is adventurous, but it doesn't. It's not so far out there that you can't figure out what they're doing. Though, they, they do take their uh, liberties. And that's uh, Spaceways Incorporated, 13 Cosmic Standards, Sun Ra, and Funkadelic. So basically, basically this is a, a CD made up of compositions by Sun Ra and Funkadelic. And these guys are just blowing our minds with it. But, of course, Spaceways Incorporated is the name of the group. Uh, Featuring Ken Vandermark as the leader. Um, trying to remember Drake and McBride's first names. Ken Vandermark is the one that uh, the one that I know the best. Hamid Drake on drums and Nate McBride on bass. But um, <clears throat> yeah, Vandermark. Ken Vandermark has also got, I believe, a group called Vandermark Five. Uh, yeah. And here's the group on the back. But yeah, great, great album. And then finally, my metal album that I picked up last year. Uh, this group is, they had, for this recording, they had a female lead singer. Um, can't remember her name right off the top of my head. It's Helium Prime. They, uh, they have since she left the band, was replaced by another female lead singer, and then she left the band, and now they have a male lead singer. So we'll see how that that works out. But this is Helium Prime. Is it self-titled? Yeah, self-titled album. Uh, very much uh, with the space theme, songs like Into the... Alien Terrain, uh, Into the Black Hole, uh, Moon Watcher, Apollo, The Eagle Has Landed, yeah, stuff like that. So, but it's got this great, <clears throat> almost looks like uh, retro, oh, Heather Michelle was, the, there's the band, 
Heather Michelle was the lead singer. So it's got this great retro sci-fi alien thing going on. <clears throat> Sorry, it's early in the morning and, and my vocal cords haven't quite woke up yet. Uh, but anyway, that's my entry. I'm going to wrap it there and uh, and for the kitties and for myself hope you have a great week and uh, we will see you soon have a good one